Insperity presents the Small Business Advocate Show with Jim Blassingame, brought to you by FedEx, CareerBuilder.com, and Palo Alto Software. This is a copyrighted production of Small Business Network, Inc., all rights reserved. He's the man who's teaching small business how to embrace social media. The king of tweets. Oh, they have the internet on computers now. To start, press any key. Where's the any key? Jim Blassing Game, the small business advocate. Welcome back, 34 after the hour. Thank you very much for hanging out with me. Thanks for being part of my day. My pleasure to continue to be with you, as always. And uh, the uh, I'm very excited about having James Strock back on the show. James is a member of our Brain Trust. He is uh, the author of Serve to Lead. He has a very varied, a very varied uh, career, and uh, he's uh, uh, been a member of the military. He's been a member. He's been involved in politics. He's now a, a leadership expert, and his new book, which is I'm very excited about, is called Reagan on Leadership: Executive Lessons from the Great Communicator. James Strock, welcome back, and congratulations. Well, thank you so much. I'm so honored to be with you, Jim. Well, it's good to have you back, and 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 especially with the with the launch of your new book, Reagan on Leadership. I'll tell you, um, I am a Reagan fan, unabashed. I was in 1980. I was again in 1984. In 2011, he's still one of my heroes. Yeah, he's remarkable, and I, it's easy to see too. He would absolutely love uh, today's world of 21st century leadership. And you think he would? Just talking. I do, don't you? He well, I, 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 do, I think he would love the promise. I don't think he'd love the, the reality. I think he'd love the promise of what the green shoots. I'm going to use one of Obama's terms. Uh, I, I'm seeing green shoots of leadership, but yeah. I'm not seeing much mature leadership. I mean, I mean, when I look at what's going on in Washington right now, not one member of Congress has come to the microphone and said, "We are we are so ashamed that 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 we're six months into this this uh, to this uh, year fiscal year and we have no budget. We're so ashamed that that our 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 the people need us to be helping them get out of this ec- economic mess, and yet we're 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 gaggling over over this thing and that thing. We can't seem to get our act done. There's no shame, and and I'll tell you something." I don't. I think Reagan would call him out. What do you think? Oh, I think you're absolutely right, and you put it very well. I think that's a great distinction. He he would look at the potential. He would certainly be disappointed. I think in in the failure of people who would wish to be leaders thus far in many situations. Uh, and as you know, he was so fearless. Uh, he would simply, as you say, call things out. We could sure use him now. Anybody who would stand would go to go to to Germany. And stand there, and in what was it eighty six? Yeah. He said, "He said, Mr. Gorbachev, tear down this wall." Can you see? Can you see uh, President Obama saying anything like that? And I don't mean to be picking on him, folks. Sure. I'm just I'm talking about this the twenty first century th- approach to leadership. I don't see that kind of courage coming out of of, of President Obama. Do you? Well, I, I got to say, it's rare you see it from anybody. And I disagree with President Obama's approach, but I think on this, perhaps, Jim, you, you could look at almost any yeah. American official in recent years, and you just don't see that kind of self, self-containment self and strength and just, uh, you know, very courageous. Let me tell you what I heard on, 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 a, on an interview recently, this week, actually. They were talking about the discussion over the budget, the, the debate over the budget and everything. And the, and the issue was that, that a bunch of the young Republicans uh, have not been in government for very long. And the, in other words, this reporter was saying that part of the problem we have right now is these young guys, these young folks, have not been in government very long. And they're just not used to compromising. And so he actually was explaining that they were part of the problem in this process. And I'm saying, what? <laughs> that's not part of they're not part of the problem i don't want them to to go over to the dark side i want them to be part of the problem if the problem is 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 interrupting this this what we've been getting in the in the past for the past 20 years well you sound just like ronald reagan i mean as you know when he ran against career politicians when he first became governor of california at age 55 that's exactly what he said he said that so-called experience that's why i'm running yeah, that's not a problem. That's what we need to stop. 
You know, and, and it's so it's so unfortunate that people branded him as an actor and and not serious and all that sort of thing. But when you look back on his career, he was a he was not only thoughtful. I mean, I mean, regardless of whether you you agree with with uh, with his politics, he was one political party for a long time and changed over to the other. The the point I'm making here is he actually made a conscious decision to you know based on his principles. Also, oh, yeah. he was a leader in his industry, wasn't he? He was a leader his entire life, as you know, Jim. Everything from student government, as, as hokey as that may sound to some, but it's a start, uh, throughout his life. He, he took a very strong and principled stand on the whole situation of communist infiltration in Hollywood. Yep. Yep. Uh, you know, running that Screen Actors Guild was not a small thing. <laughs> no, that was and, that was uh, hurting a bunch of cats. Hey, James, hold on to that thought. James M. Strock is the author of Reagan on Leadership. Folks, you're going to want to buy two because you're going to want to keep yours and give one away. 20 till. We'll be right back. Stay with us. Insperity presents the Small Business Advocate Show with Jim Blassingame, brought to you by FedEx, CareerBuilder.com, and Palo Alto Software. This is a copyrighted production of Small Business Network, Inc., intended for the private use of our audience. Except as otherwise provided by copyright law, all other copying, redistribution, or publication without prior written consent is prohibited. All rights reserved. Prohibited. All rights reserved. Prohibited.